90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way Season 4 is only four episodes in, and Daniele Gates has already treated her husband, Johan Geronimo, pretty badly. Daniele moved to the Dominican Republic to be with Johan, telling her friends she couldn't afford to live in New York anymore and wants to get away from the chaotic lifestyle. News soon came out that Daniele filed for bankruptcy in 2022, which may be why she was so eager to leave the United States. Daniele is very spiritual and believes she can manifest the money she needs to live with Johan in the Dominican Republic. 90 Day Fiancé's Daniele first told her and Johan's story on Love in Paradise, the Caribbean. Daniele met Johan while on vacation in the Dominican Republic and quickly fell in love with him. The star has faced a lot of backlash and has addressed it several times on social media. Daniele called out the negative stories being written about her and the podcast hosts that talk about her on their show but haven't asked her to come on and explain herself. Some of the biggest criticism Daniele has received is around how she treats her husband Johan in his home country. Daniele lied to Johan about moving to New York The first signs of Daniele not respecting Johan came very early on in the season. Johan dreamed of moving to the United States and living in New York with Daniele for a better life. Unfortunately, Daniele had other plans that she hid from Johan until she got to the Dominican Republic. Without discussing it with him, Daniele decided she and Johan would instead live in the Dominican Republic together. The 90 Day Fiancé star also told her husband his dreams of succeeding in New York were unrealistic, though she continues to see her own dreams and goals in life as attainable. Daniele insulted Johan's butcher shop when Johan showed his wife around his neighborhood and brought her to his butcher shop, Daniele was disgusted. The shop did not have air conditioning, and the meat was covered in flies. Johan explained that's how things are in the Dominican Republic. However, Daniele continued acting entitled and said she couldn't believe anyone, especially rich people, buys meat like that in Johan's country. Daniele didn't care if she was hurting Johan's feelings or acting superior to his lifestyle. She continued to talk about how disgusted she was by his shop. Daniele belittled Johan for how much money he makes Daniele has an interesting relationship with money. She filed for bankruptcy, claims New York is too expensive for her but says she will manifest the money to live in the Dominican Republic. She also doesn't like Johan's income and mocked him for the little amount he's able to contribute to her for their apartment. In the recent 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way episode, Daniele and Johan went to look at an apartment that was up to par with Daniele's standards. Daniele wants a two-bedroom apartment with a washer and dryer that also has a pool and costs $2,000 a month. Johan told her the most he could give her is $90, and she basically laughed in his face. Daniele claims to love Johan and wants to start a life with him in the Dominican Republic, but her treatment of him on the show has been unacceptable. The 90 Day Fiancé star does not treat Johan the way a loving partner should. She lacks compassion and seems to only think of herself and what she wants. It's a shock that Daniele and Johan are still together, but hopefully, as the season goes on, Daniele will learn the proper way to treat Johan, and it will improve their relationship with each other. 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way airs Sundays at 8 p.m. on TLC. My